Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to add custom folders to your file history backup. So the Windows file history tool is used to back up your default folders, you know, such as documents, pictures, desktop, and that type of thing. But if you have some additional folders that are not part of those default folders, uh, you'll find that you don't have an option to add those to your backup. You know, we have the restore option here, select a drive, which will just select your backup drive. You could exclude folders if you don't want them backed up, but there's no option to add folders. Then you have some advanced settings here just for how often it backs up and so on. Okay, so if we go to the backup, so this one has ran already. So here's the backup drive where that is on. So your file history folder, username, computer name, then you want to go to data, then the C drive, users, username, so here is everything that's backed up. You can see it's just the default folders under the user profile. But you might also see, if we go back here, that we have this E drive backup as well with this important files folder. And if we go to this E drive, you can see it's not part of these folders. It's a separate folder on a separate drive, yet file history backed it up. So we're going to show you how to do this so if you want to add additional folders to your backup you could have file history back them up okay so to do so we're going to do it with this other files folder here and we're going to show you what you have to do so what you need to do is just right click on the folder you want to add to your file history backup go to show more options in windows 11 and then you want to go to include in library and you could pick an existing library or create a new library so I'm just going to add it to documents for the sake of making it easy. All right, so now we have that folder moved over to documents. But if you notice, if we go to documents, it doesn't actually show up in your documents. So this folder called other files is not in our documents. But if we go down here to the left hand pane here, right click, show libraries. Then we could view our libraries, and you can see we have documents here. Then we have our normal documents, which we saw. Then we have this OneDrive, which is not valid, and you can see we have this important files folder, which is right here in our backup. So that one's already been added. And now you can see we have this other files folder as well, which we just added. So these are in the library, yet they're not going to show up in your documents. And then if you don't want to see your library, you can just come back here, right click, uncheck it. And now your library will not be listed there. Okay, so now that we have this other files folder from our E drive in our documents library, we can run file history again and we'll see what happens. All right, that's done. So let's go back here. All right, let's go back to the backup drive at the beginning here. File history, username, computer name, data, E drive, and now you can see we have other files as well. So now this is part of our file history backup, even though it's not part of the default folders up here. All right, so once again, to add a non-standard folder to your file history backup, just right-click on it. Show more options for Windows 11, or of course for Windows 11, you could hold down Shift and just go right to the secondary menu. Include in library. And that's all you have to do. And then the next time file history runs, it'll back up that folder as well. And if we go back to restore here. You'll notice that we have the regular documents folder here. Then we have this secondary one here. And this is where you'll find your additional non standard folders right here. So I have duplicates because I just use the same folders for both examples here. That's why you have both. You know, so you have PDF files here and I have PDF files here. So that's why you see them twice here. So you just keep that in mind when you go to restore them that you might have to go to this secondary documents folder here for your library. 
All right, so hopefully that makes sense. So once again, just pick your custom folder, right click it, add it to a library, and then it should be added to your file history automatically, and then you can back it up. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.